Hi, this is Dr. Steve Mora. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Orange. I just wanted to uh, talk to you for a second about the types of anesthesia that you can use for, for knee arthroscopy. Uh, most of the time we do knee arthroscopy uh, under general anesthesia. That's probably how it's done 95% of the time. There is another option and that's called MAC anesthesia. MAC anesthesia is a good option for patients who are very hesitant about going under anesthesia. Uh, it's uh, also a very nice, safe, effective way uh, to do a simple arthroscopy. So some patients who have uh, certain medical conditions like sleep apnea or certain heart conditions that, um, that um, make them a little concerned or hesitant to go under general anesthesia, which is not unusual, uh, they can have that option. So what I do is, uh, it's not a totally local. The way it's done is, I have the anesthesiologist, who I work very closely with, provide the patient a little bit of IV sedation, just enough to get the patient to close their eyes and, uh, and, and go to sleep for about five minutes. In that five minute period, what I will do is I will numb the knee up. I will uh, inject the knee uh, um, uh, throughout the, the whole uh, joint with local anesthetics such as uh, Novocaine and, um, uh, and I use a special technique that uh, allows me to numb the knee very effectively. So when the patient wakes up from the anesthesia, the knee is actually completely numb and it's so numb that I can operate and do um, meniscus uh, trimming, meniscus repair, uh, cleaning up um, um, any loose debris within the knee with the patient wide awake. So I work very closely with the anesthesiologist. We, we work as a team. We, uh, we make sure that the anesthetic is just long enough to allow the patient to sleep for a few minutes, wake up, and become fully lucid so that they can follow instructions, they can relax, and if they want to watch uh, the uh, arthroscopy on the monitor next to them, they can. I just had this, uh, or I just did the procedure on a patient just a few minutes ago. Uh, it uh, went extremely well. It was just as I explained. The uh, patient had a meniscus tear. They were concerned about going under anesthesia. It's not that it wasn't safe. They just had a, a, a personal uh, wish to uh, not be totally under anesthesia for the hour that it normally takes. So I gave the patient the option of doing this special uh, type of uh, local anesthetic. Uh, the anesthesiologist put him to sleep for a few minutes numbed up the knee, prepped, draped the leg out, made my incisions, I was in there with my camera, the patient uh, was fully awake, I let the patient watch the trimming of his meniscus, uh, took the camera out, closed up the, the little tiny incisions, and he literally uh, walked onto his, um, his bed uh, and went to the recovery room. Uh, this was about 10 minutes ago, I just checked up on the patient, he's ready to go home, he feels really good. So this type of anesthetic is another option for a patient who uh, may have a meniscus tear but uh, they've put off surgery for a long time because they just don't want to go under general anesthesia. Once again, it's, uh, it's a modified type of local anesthetic. Uh, technically we call it uh, MAC anesthesia which basically means uh, uh, monitor uh, anesthetic uh, and it's something that we can do uh, please let me know if I can help. Uh, I enjoy doing these, these types of procedures for patients and customizing the treatment to their needs. And once again, this is Dr. Steve Mora uh, out of uh, Orange County at the Sore Spine Center. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.